Well, welcome to Field of Royal Life Shooting News, and we're here just outside of Las Vegas at Boulder Shooting Ground. I have to say, an amazing venue here. Absolute pleasure to be here with Foster this morning. Now, Foster, you've been uh, working with uh, Browning and Winchester for many years, and just, just to go back. Uh, you won the 2009 ATA Tour, is that correct? 2008, yeah. 2008. Yep. It was the Grand American Singles Championship. Now just to explain, what, what sort of dedication does it take to go there? Because that, that's quite an amazing tour, though, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, it's uh, one of those things we travel all summer long. Uh, it's really cool because we can do a lot with uh, youth clinics, helping the youth uh, really be an ambassador of sport. But yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, you know, just going in dedication wise, it was quite a bit of dedication. We're shooting 40,000 rounds a summer. And, Goodness, but yeah, it was really cool. 2008 went 1,100 in a row, uh, 200 in the main event, 900 in the shoot off, and I got the declaring co champion, uh, Leo Harrison, third. So it was really cool. Fantastic. Absolutely. Hey, just, just explain to us. Um, the, 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 the school side of things over here is very, very popular, isn't it? It is, it is. Uh, trap shooting is growing exponentially uh, in within the youth. It's, it's really cool seeing a lot of kids getting into it these days. And, and how long has your involvement been with Browning and Winchester? Browning and Winchester, we've been with them, uh, my brother and I, for about five, six years. So. Today, a lot of people here on the, on the Winchester stand with the Browning there uh, is, yep. The, the is very, very popular over here, isn't it? It is, yep. Yep, really good stuff. Uh, very accurate, dependable. So. Well, come on, let's, let's, uh, let's show, show, us, show us what you can do. Absolutely. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, Matt, we've, uh, we've got Foster in front of us, and he's just uh, putting a few rounds through there. Now, just to explain to us what uh, what your bit, your involvement's been with uh, Winchester and Browning. You know, we've been uh, we've been sponsor shooters for them for a little while now, and basically we get out and teach kids and show them, you know. How to make have fun and be safe with uh, shooting sports. Absolutely. Now, the, the, the gun he's using there this morning is uh, it's sem semi-automatic. What's the model? Uh, that, I think, is the SX-3, the Briley edition. So how many, how many, how many rounds can we put in this? Um, I think, I think four or five. He's, uh, he's let one slip through there. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. It was, I'm sure it was a wind issue. Yep. <laughs> well, come on. We've been commentating there. Come and join us, Foster. No, no. Come on. There was there was there was one one or two that slipped away. Now let me put it down to a bit of windage. Blowing quite quite hard here. Yeah. From, from from a professional's point of view, definitely a wind issue. Nothing to do with the shooter. Pressure. Definitely <laughs> pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Scares little brothers here, so he might intimidate me and beat me today. <laughs> I have to say, now come on, Foster, hand over the gun to Matt. Matt, come on, put us through through the paces, and then we can uh, we're going to have Foster watch you. What's a typical year for you guys? You know, a typical year is very, uh, very long in the summertime. Like I said, we're shooting about 40,000 rounds. Uh, with that, we're going to be basically going on the road, um, and that's two or three months. You know, we try and to you, schedule. You guys travel one in a motorhome? Uh, yep. We well, we got a fifth wheel. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it's you know we try to schedule everything. So we're going through doing youth clinics, uh, making some shoots. Um, you know, just okay. Okay, come on, let's just interrupt there. Come on, Matt, Matt's waiting for the go. No, no, no pressure here, Matt. But uh, Fos Foster's watching. What are you doing? Uh, just, just explain a little bit about the gun that you use. Samuel Matt. SX3 uh, Bradley edition. Yep. So it has a few upgraded parts on it, and yeah, it's just a tremendous gun. Definitely a good one for hunting, sporting plays. A lot of, nice, a lot of guys nice, are nice pair away there. What's the ammunition we're using here today? We are using the Winchester. It's their new tracker loader. Oh, nice, proper, nice pair. Sorry, we're using the Winchester. Yep, it's their new tracker load. Uh, if you notice, there's a orange wad with it, and basically it'll follow your uh, shot string, so you can actually see where you're shooting. Yep. Uh, have you been using particular ammunition yourself? Yeah, I tried a couple boxes out. And, uh, 
I like it a lot. Yeah. It's really nice. It's really good uh, for the guys that are wanting to see exactly where they're shooting, kind of perfect their skills. Yeah. Um, you know, they can kind of see if they miss off to the left or to the right. Come on, Matt, come and join us. Uh, uh, come on, what, what, uh, what, do you, what do you think of A, the ammunition, and, and B, the gun? Love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's awesome. We were just, uh, Foster and I were just saying on the ammunition, um, uh, quite interesting with the actual wall itself going out there, yep. tracking the target. Yep. And, and, and as Foster quite rightly said, it's very, very nice for the youngsters to be able to see. When, when, when you guys are sort of point the mic in the right and the wrong direction for them to actually see it, be a real bonus for you guys, isn't it? It is. It's really nice. We can tell the kids, uh, but when they actually see exactly what they're doing, it brings in a whole new dimension for uh, teaching. So Absolutely. It's really nice. uh, Matt, what, what sort of age groups are we looking at when, when you're teaching these youngsters? What are they coming to? What, what's the start? Um, pretty much as young as they can actually pick up a gun. I mean, yeah, I mean, we've seen kids out there probably eight, nine. Okay. Yeah. Sort of, sort of eight, eight, ten, sort of big enough to sort of hold a gun. Yep. Now, come on, while, while you've been out there, has there, has there been any particular youngsters that have sort of literally just walked in, walked in and said, "Look, I've never shot before, but all of a sudden they picked a gun up." You know, use the term pretty much natural. Have you seen this? Yeah, we've seen it. There's quite a few good shooters out there, uh, you know, and it's really awesome to see kids pick up guns and have fun with it. So. Now come on, you guys going to give us a bit of a demonstration on the over and unders next? Absolutely. So what should we do? Should we have a quick hundred birds and see which one? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I knew how I'm putting my money on. <laughs> He's using the new Browning 725. Oh, that's a two. Oh, two for two. Oh, second was a nice shot, wasn't it? He's got four for four. Yeah. Oh, he's let you in now. What are we going to end up at? He's, he's, dropped, he's dropped two. I think, I think it was a windage issue. I think so. Oh, I think he might drop three, possibly. But I think it was Matt. Hey, Matt, you've let him off big time here. Drop the, drop the three. Talk us through it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had him up till the end there. Yeah, you were really on him, right? Yeah. Right from the way he came. Yeah. I, I, I put it there a bit of a windy. Yeah. Know, that's what it was. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. No pressure, Matt. It's just uh, we've got to, we've we've just got to uh, he's got to beat the three now. That's yeah. what we got to do. Oh yeah. Yeah, those angles on the last few were yeah, <laughs> a little they, tough, but. Two. Easy ones. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, well, there you go. That's the first. The first three pairs are always the easiest, yeah. I think. <laughs> oh, there's two. This could, this could be quick. This yeah. could be quick. Yeah. He's got to get the rest of them to beat me now. Oh, he's trying hard now. <laughs> just going to remind him he's just got one, one, one left. Yep. Got to get them both there, Chief. Oh, I think, it was, I think that's a draw, isn't it? I think that's a tie. I think that's a tie. Oh, well, come on, we better, better have two more each here. Come on, we can't have a tie on the, we can't have a tie on the show, chaps. There's got to be a winner, isn't there? Yeah, hey, look at, look at this death match. Right. right, come on, about two birds. What are we going to do, sudden death? <laughs> They're quite a difficult bird out there, it's blowing, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh yeah, he got two, come on then. <laughs> no, 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 no pressure there though, man. Basically, I'm trying to wait until it gets to where it's starting to fall. Ooh, did he miss that first bird? Yeah. I, th yeah. I think that was a, I think that was a, I think that was a that miss was there. <laughs> well, why don't you? Hey, 
guys, thanks very much indeed for spending time. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, two, two gentlemen, uh, great, great work with the youngsters, and uh, we wish you all the best uh, when you're on the tour. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.